Impact segment tonight, according to a recent Gallup poll, just 18% of the American public approves of Congress. And this next story is not going to help that number. Comedian Stephen Colbert recently spent a day working on a farm in upstate New York to demonstrate what migrant workers go through. You said take our jobs, please. And I came, I worked out there harvesting America's crops. So tell me, do I have what it takes to be a migrant farm worker? I'm sorry, sir, but you're not qualified. Oh, thank God! Oh, can I go home now? Please. Where's my driver? Pablo! Thanks, Pablo. Let's go. Rapido! Rapido! Now, because of that exposition, Colbert was called to testify, if you can believe it, and today in front of a House committee that deals with immigration issues. Here's what went down. This is America. I don't want a tomato picked by a Mexican. I want it picked by an American, then sliced by a Guatemalan and served by a Venezuelan in a spa where a Chilean gives me a Brazilian. You can see the testimony was shtick. Question is, why is the House wasting money on that? Joining us from Los Angeles, Fox News analyst Leslie Marshall, and from Washington, Dana Perino, also an analyst for FNC. Ladies, I have to applaud your attire this evening, perfectly in context, red <laughs> and blue. So, Dana, I understand the committee wanted to get some publicity for the hearing. So, is there anything wrong with that? Not necessarily, and sometimes it can work very well. I don't think it did in this case. Um, for example, I remember when Michael J. Fox came to testify on the Hill about stem cell research. Gary Sinise has done some great work for veterans. Angelina Jolie has done good stuff for humanitarian causes. So committees have done that. It can draw attention to it. This is an issue that deserves more attention. But I think today, with this shtick, as you said, it was definitely a shtick, it backfired because it really wasn't that funny. The, the, Senate, the House Democrats were not even on the same page. They didn't even know that he was coming in character. And the uh, chairman tried to dismiss the uh, witness, uh, and he wouldn't leave. But what it really did at the <laughs> end of the day was serve to remind everybody that the administration and Congress, despite large majorities, have not been able to pass immigration reform. Well, I also, I don't even know what they're trying to get across, Leslie. This committee has got like 18 things on its plate. Do you know what the committee actually wants to do? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not exactly sure. Nobody's sure. You know, a, a, be, <laughs> you know, I, no, nobody knows what they want. So they pull in Colbert, I know and, he, and he hams it up. And people are going, you know, this is why Congress never gets anything done. Number one, nobody knows what they're talking about in the first place. And number two, there's Colbert wasting everybody's time. But I, I have to tell you, I agree with you. Bill, I think this is the first time that you, Dana, and I have all agreed on this. This was mocking our system, and we have enough on our plate uh, to be angry with left or right. Uh, this is not, I don't want to pay for some comedian to go and to do this. And I found a lot of what he said very offensive. And this is, this is, this is our tax dollars hard at work. And I have to say that I think today uh, liberals and conservatives agree on this issue. Stephen Colbert may be a great comedian, but that's where he belongs. And I don't think some people even knew and understood he was in character he was he was playing yeah, a character I mean, like you, you said know, this was unless, a complete you do, unless you you know follow him you don't know what he's talking about right, uh, right. I'm trying to Zoe uh, Zoe Lofgren is the chairman of this committee and I guess it's trying to get some kind of international law border security refugees I mean it's like all over the pike here um, and, and again, it doesn't bother me. I don't mind Colbert getting the publicity uh, and all that. I want poor people, as I write in uh, Pinheads and Patriots, I want poor people to have a chance. But again, this kind of denigrates the issue, Dana. It, it makes a joke out of something that's deadly serious. Migrant workers, particularly illegal aliens, are exploited. They're exploited. They're brutalized throughout this country and throughout the world. And there's Colbert saying Rodrigo Rapido. I'm not sure right. that, that that's really a good I message. don't think people found it funny and that's what in, in, in many ways what you saw in Congress today it was silly. Humor can be good and it can help you you know break tension maybe even bring people together. That's not what happened today. Okay but Leslie the overarch is that in the fields of California if you go up to central California these people are getting brutalized. I mean this is brutal brutally hard work and if you're illegal they terrorize, they're getting terrorized, they get blackmailed, extorted, uh, and all of this business. And then we have a good yuck about it in Washington, D.C. It's something that's just not right here. It doesn't feel right. 
It's definitely kicking someone when they're down and picking on the underdog rather than someone their own size. Absolutely. If you look at Oxnard and other places or where people are, you know, picking grapes or strawberries, lettuce, whatever they're doing, you're, you're, you're talking incredibly long hours uh, bent over on their backs sure. in, in heat. They're getting money, but this is just a few, a few degrees from slavery, some people would say, or at least indentured servitude. There's no question. You know These what? people are uh, oppressed. I think it could have worked, Dana, if they had brought in Colbert and said, and he did maybe two or three minutes of shtick, and then he said, you know, but here's what I learned when I went up there, and here's the serious issue, and, and this is how I feel about it. That he could have maybe done a hybrid rather than being, you know, a complete Colbert person, which is, you know, which is what he was. Right, and that would have been better for him and for the issue. All right. Ladies, thanks very much as always. We appreciate it. Here are the results.